All right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. My name is Julo, and today, oh man, we got <laughs> we got a doozy here for you today. So, dear fellow PVPers, I want to discuss some interesting changes with you that we intend to release soon. First, on Test Realm and then to our live service. Before I do that, yada yada yada, don't care. Um, let's talk about what's coming for PVP. Beginning immediately, PP sigils will no longer allow any pre-enchanted treasure cards to be drawn from your side deck, exactly as it works in the Decathlon. Ratbeard. Ratbeard. What are you doing? You are... whatever. What is a pre-enchanted TC if you're used to going to Unicorn Way or Gollum Court to enchant TCs for your side deck? These are the pre-enchanted TCs. There will be no PvP. You can use purchased, looted, or crafted TCs. Cool. All pre-enchants. Damage, accuracy, cloak, transmutes, etc. So, they're killing the game. You know how that goes. Uh, all current damage enchant spells, strong, giant, monstrous, gargantuan, colossal, and epic will be marked no PvP and cannot be included in your main deck. TC versions of these spells will also be made no PvP and cannot be included in your side deck. So before we go on, uh, I want to talk about how bad this is for the game. Um, for the last more than five years, I haven't been PvPing for more than maybe a year and a half at this point, but I've seen videos from people like Awesome Sauce, uh, Mega Mikey, who, like, those videos date back to 2015 and before. And the meta was the same as it is now. TCs inside, or mostly hits inside, and then utilities in main. And nobody has ever complained about this, except for... Um, let, let's, let's look at this. Uh, where is it at? Here. This, this person... And her, like, five accounts are the only person, like, this is the only person that's ever complained about that. So, yeah, it looks like uh, the developers are trying to cater to the noobs as opposed to veteran players. Uh, this got a lot of responses, and then uh, my, my post about, you know, Insane Bolt, I made one about Mantles. Those got no recognition from the developers. But you know how that is. Um, so, here's why this is bad. Like I said, the meta has been for many years now. Uh, at least more than half of the game's lifespan by now. Um, the deck building meta has been utilities and mains. So stuff, so stuff like shields, um, blades... Uh, what else? Like minions, for example. Those have all been in the main deck. And in side deck, uh, you would have all of your hits, so you could pull them on demand. And basically what that means is you would pull hits, uh, treasure card hits from your side deck in order to, uh, you know, hit your opponent. And this was mainly to mitigate deck RNG. Because, obviously, we all know RNG can be rather cruel. So, you know, there's that. And what it's looking like is they just want to get rid of that entirely. I don't know why, but they do. And, actually, I think this is under the guise of TC enchants being too powerful. And... Like, like, do they not realize what they're saying? <laughs> like, you remember people like Kylie Owl who would jade for hours on end. Like, I'm pretty sure she got like a thousand rank in a week uh, just from jading. So, that's nice. Um, but, yeah. So, enchants, they basically want to completely get rid of those for no reason other than they want to. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, they're doing this before getting rid of minus 90 Efreets, uh, double life to spell gnomes, 
uh, three Piff Lord of Winters, that sort of thing. Um, because it says you can use purchased, looted, or crafted TCs in your side deck as before, so that includes, you know, like the base version of spells like, I don't know, Winter Moon, um, Hungry Caterpillar, stuff like that, which is gonna suck. I mean, because where are you going to find a surplus of, like, Hephaestus TCs, for example? You aren't, uh, spoiler alert. So, there, there's all that. Uh, this change affects all pre-enchants. I already went over that. Um, <clears throat> and here's another kicker. This is probably the only good thing about this whole update. And that is that main deck enchants, um, the damage enchants rather, are going to be no PvP as well. Now, here's why this is good. Fire Elves are doing 1,000 damage on the initial hit and doing four to 500 on the overtime with like maybe a blade or a furnace and no other buffs. And obviously, you know, that's bad. So uh, this here, Solar Surge, is... It's a card where if you enchant your spell, like say for example you're enchanting a 2-pip spell, it would only give you a plus 100 damage boost, which really nerfs Fire Elf and Troll spell elementers, which needed to happen. Um, so I think Solar Surge replacing main deck damage enchants is good, but getting rid of the pre-enchanted TCs from the side deck and unraveling the meta as we know it is obviously very bad and it it is something that i will quit the game over take that into consideration i will leave this game behind just like i did years ago if this update where you can't use uh, tc's rolls out i will leave the game behind and king's Isle will no longer get my money so that should matter to them. So because we expect these changes to reduce overall damage in PvP, we will increase the 1v1 match timer to 45 minutes. Uh, like I said, Kylie Owl, this is your time to shine. Uh, this will allow more time for play and counterplay. Uh, so mostly just shielding and jading and stuff for players to position themselves for an open hit and require players to land more hits in order to win the match. So another big flaw with only having Solar Surge to enchant your cards is the fact that there are only so many copies that you can fit this into. So they're trying to create like a classic tournament type of thing for ranked, which obviously sucks. And <clears throat> anybody who's ever played a classic tournament knows why this is bad you most of the time will not be able to pull your enchants and that's with like maybe two or three different kinds of enchants in your deck so with only one kind of enchant being able to be put into your deck this is not going to be good obviously because you would have to not only pull the enchant but also the hit as well so you would need to pull two cards and then be able to use it after you've pulled those two cards. So <sighs> we are increasing the match timer by more than is probably necessary. That is a fact. We will review actual match time data in the future and revise the match timer accordingly. This is honestly probably a lie. Uh, we expect that this change to the meta will be dramatic. Uh, yes, you are upending the meta as we know it and ruining the game. Different deck building strategies, more card cycling, more moment to moment decision making, uh, more opportunities to make good and bad plays. Uh, so in other words, they're leaving it all up to RNG and um, we, we love RNG. That's, that's what they're trying to tell us. So these changes will be brought to test realm and then to the live game. Uh, we will listen to your feedback. No, you won't. Um, <clears throat> we will determine after a suitable trial period on the live game if these changes should be kept, modified, or reverted. If this happens, I will keep playing the game. Uh, as we have said for quite some time, the final days of 4th age PvP, yada yada, I don't gaff. So, this is Solar Search. Um, plus 50 damage per pip, so 
uh, 25 minimum and 300 maximum. So, uh, obviously, uh, spells that are 6 pips and above would get a full 300 enchant, while a 5 pip would get 250, 4 pip would get 200, etc, etc. Um, tweets from Matt Natic and Ratbeard have said that X pip spells will only get plus 50, uh, no matter how many pips you have when you use them. So, yeah, and just one more thing to clear up. Uh, <laughs> these developers are not very good at listening to feedback, as we've been able to see from previous updates. And honestly, they've done the worst job I've ever seen out of any game I've ever played. And just to kind of put that into a uh, comparison, I was there when Mojang dropped Minecraft 1.9. And if you know, you know. <laughs> uh, that snowball barrage strat that you've seen some people use, and that is actually coming up on my channel, stay tuned, uh, will no longer be able to be used effectively. So, <sighs> lovely. Uh, so yeah, when drawn from your main deck and used to enchant an attack spell also drawn from your main deck, Solar Surge adds plus 50 damage per pip, um, the zero pip attack spells as well. What zero pip attack spells do we get? I don't know. Um, yeah. So, okay. This is not a perfect solution. You got that right. Players will still be able to enchant their rank six spells. And Solar Surge must be carried and drawn from the main deck. Uh, the attack spell you wish to enchant must also be carried in the main Solar Surge must abide by main deck card copy limits. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, if you are using the Duelist Double Make Care deck, you only have six copies. Which means you only have like six actual buffed up hits. And if we go back up here, uh, it'll say this requires players to land more hits in order to win the match. You already need more than six hits in uh, some schools cases. So, reducing this even further, like, bro, <laughs> they are ruining their game. That's all I can say about it. In conclusion, we're hoping that these changes shake up the current meta. True, fourth age might be a bit chaotic, mass exodus of players that will no longer give them their money, yada, yada, yada. Um, with as much advance notice as we can, and to listen closely to your feedback, with how they've listened to our feedback over the course of this year that is cap <laughs> that is cap right there in my case after catacombs released and it cost almost 500 extracts to just craft one vanguard and then dragoon piece i said okay you know what i'll give them one more chance to make a, a, an update that is useful and helps the players spring update rolls around and we get the 100,000 gold pet kiosk uh, hatches so that's always nice and i said you know what i'll give them one more chance summer update rolls around 90 percent of the spells get nuked and you know what i said eh, I'll, I'll give the, i'll give them one more chance this i cannot do i gave them their chance and they have, they have failed. And I know that if I say I'll give them one more chance again, next spring is going to roll around and Resist is going to get completely dismantled with the stat rework. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not giving them another chance. If this update rolls to live as it is, I am leaving the game behind. And so will a lot of people. Uh, I've seen a lot of people say that they would quit Wiz if this game, I mean, if this update hit live. So, there's that. Uh, another thing that I think they've mentioned a couple times is they don't want TCs creating a barrier to entry. And um, it doesn't look like it says it here, but you have to be level 50 and then rank veteran i think those are the requirements for it so 
they saw that, you know, TCs and pre enchants were, you know, not something anybody complained about, and they misinterpreted it as a barrier to entry, so they decided to add an actual barrier to entry with this update. So that's always nice. Um, so, I guess if I find any more tweets from <laughs> the developers on this, I will put them here at the end of this video and talk about them shortly. So, yeah. Nice, ain't it? All right, well. Um, yeah, adding... Man, <laughs> like, this is... This is so dumb. Nobody has ever complained about it. And... <laughs> bruh. It's like, they won't they won't take out decathlon decks at low levels. They won't take out minus 90 TCs. But they will add a barrier to entry and take out all pre-enchanted TCs. How about that? So... Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll see you in the next video. I don't know how much longer this channel is going to be here and uploading, but I mean, if this, if this hits live, it's, you know, it might not be uploading anymore. Who knows? But yeah, I'll see you in the next video and goodbye.